All right, folks, I'm going to be testing something out here. Uh, it's an Xbox 360 emulator called Xenia. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up that ISO. Uh, Trex 3D. 12. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, which key is it? Um, there we go. Oh, that's that. Okay, that one there. All right. Single player. Now I did test it. So, okay, let's go full screen. Land. I could not agree with you more, Mud. <laughs> Daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Uh. Please, look how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. But, Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, 
But John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. <coughs> That's just me pressing the key because I had to turn off my mic for a moment. Not the emulator, it's me. <laughs> Come on, mount up, Mr. Marston. I want to get to Fort Mercer before sundown. Okay, hey, which right, one's why? That's that. And most of them That's are you keep playing. Yeah, mister. Uh, Good evening. Let's get going, Mr. Marston. Marshal, don't take kindly to that kind of behavior. All right, all right. Take it easy. Oh. I didn't want to do that either. Um. Oh. Are you walking to Fort Mercer, Mr. Marston? Uh huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. You be on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. You go. Let's go. you do fight about as sociable as most three affect you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. 
I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Flanders. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come on. Okay, folks, this is where this is going to end here. I just thought I would uh, test it out. Take care and have a good one.